up everybody frank valkyria welcome to the channel where we do reactions and talk about music but not only we do all kinds of goofy stuff here apart from music but also look huh silly comedy skit that perhaps will make you laugh so we post this yesterday trying to do more new stuff on the channel if you want to support it i will really appreciate me and forest uh, we're just having fun creating those uh, little characters here and there but anyway let me know what you think you asked me actually on this video you asked me to react to this video of lucas and this seems like to be uh, another channel of lucas from uh, inutilismo lucas vinicius five minutes of travis scott all right let's check it together we know now that lucas it's a it's a great uh, multi-instrumentalist i don't know much about travis scott honestly i know it's a famous rapper but let's check this out together and always like i say in uh, indonesian coffee always mantap always coffee is always cool I need the version in the Portuguese. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. You come around, yeah. You is my mind, you make everything feel fine. Worried about those comments. I'm way too numb, yeah. It's way too dumb, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the high. All right. I mean, is it safe to say that Lucas is a metal fan? Huh? <laughs> I don't know much about uh, Travis Scott, what it sounds this song, but this sounds pretty good to me. Uh, and also the lyrics, I assume, are the original. It's always funny because in the rap, to keep the flow, especially nowadays, there is a lot of filler. Like uh, you heard how many times he says, yeah, yeah yeah just to fill the gap in between rhymes because finding rhymes making sense is not that predictable as you might think it's actually hard it requires knowing how to write so yeah yeah There is there is almost more yeah than uh, I I have to I have to check the original because I don't think he's he's putting them here himself I think this is the original track most likely the lyrics. Ooh, nice. Don't you open up that window? Don't you let out that antidote? Yeah. Nice. We like that riff. Oh, the gargling uh, screech scream. And also another thing, I'm pretty sure 100% that on the original stuff there's a lot of auto tune, all those effects that make the voice jump and making those squealing noises like brick, 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 all those type of stuff. Of stuff which is made by in auto tune and of course there is effect on the voice of lucas as well but he's doing it for real you know without the hate of out of tune so in that way that's pretty awesome again showing also how incredibly talented he is as a singer uh, i'm pretty sure this sounds better than the original safe to say very good Very nice. I got room in my views. Yeah. She filled my mind up with ideas. 
You see those effects which are the same of as autotune, he's putting them in as well, of course, like you see, but I, I'm sure that the Travis Scott songs are full of that, only full of that. He probably sings only with that, that type of effect, that autotune. Um, I'm not certain 100%, so I cannot say whether or not uh, Travis Scott can actually sing, but it's common knowledge that nowadays a lot of rappers they just rely heavily on those effects. I, I don't think they will be able to even exist without all those effects, even live, uh, I assume. Very good. I, uh, I know a lot of you told me on the last video that Lucas doesn't consider himself a musician but a comedian. But I think it's a little bit bullshit uh, in the way that uh, he's definitely a musician. And there are personal reasons, of course, that I don't know whether or not an artist chooses not to make his own music uh, and to go another direction. It could be the comedy it's a stronger call than music and it just happens to be easy for him to learn instrument and play but when you know all this stuff you must have a love for it you know that it's pretty pretty big um but the truth probably is that as an artist it's always difficult to do your stuff you know it's a big step to do your stuff and be judged by the stuff that you do so a lot of times it's easier to play with stuff that other people do and showcase your talent because you also are a little bit safer around the stuff that somebody else did that you does you know it's there's still sort of like a detachment you know that people don't judge you from what you're doing what you bring in which can also reveal about you it's something very intimate to try to make your own music so i wonder which is which i once uh, you know i had the pleasure uh to work uh, back in the days when I had my first band, one of the first band here in the Netherlands, Days After the Storm, I played with this incredible, talented guitarist, which is still uh, working professionally now here in the Netherlands. And uh, I remember that, that you know, like, uh, he was so incredibly talented and quick in playing. Truly, a uh, Richie Blackmore fan. He played guitar, like, just uh, amazingly. But he always told me uh, that it's like... If I have to write a song, we can be here for five years. You know, I just don't know, like, you know, how to do it. I don't want to do it. But if you tell me what to do, I'm just going to nail it. I'm just going to, you know, like, you need a direction. So it could be also that, you know, some people are just good at making music, but they don't want to make music. So it could be that, you know, I don't know. This song I know, and this song I know was all over the place, especially this bit. But I have to say, it makes it sound really nice. This could be out of like a corn song, you know? Like, this is sounds really good. Wow. Hey, time, huh? We know, Lucas, we know you're a Pantera fan. We know. 100%. 
Pantera Fan. I mean, I'm listening to the lyrics of this song. And I'm like, oh, Jesus, my freaking God. Ah, uh, but... Uh, yeah. Very good. Nice. Oh, yeah, that almost sounds like Black Sabbath, huh? We know you like Black Sabbath. Uh, we know. I know. Because <laughs> it's obvious. Metal head. Metal head. I'm a holder metal head. But definitely you recognize one. Uh, great. I mean, again, he's so talented. Honestly, I would love to see like some live performance. You know, obviously this is played by him but his studio version everything it's layered so he's playing all the instruments and everything will be so nice i would love to do a little collaboration even even like just singing little pieces on top of something that he does it would be awesome collaboration great great musician uh definitely for me you know he should make also his own music uh with the channel like he has uh it's definitely worth it truly you know, if he really loves music that way, I think it's truly worth it making your own stuff. 100%. I mean, again, I'm not a fan of Travis Scott or anything. I don't despise it or whatever, but I, I kind of heard a few things here and there. It's not my cup of tea for sure, but uh, he, he, managed, he managed to make it sound uh, likable. So, yeah, that's a testament also to the quality of this video. So, guys, anyway, let me know if you want to see more Lucas. Um, go check out also the little skit. Huh? That'd be so nice. Just bam, click a lot of likes. We make this thing grow. Go skyrocket. Huh? I'll see you later. Always spread love. What a boo. Scaramouche. Will you do the fandango? Will you do the Fandango? Imaginary Butler? No. Doesn't even make coffee. God damn it. <laughs>